Do you follow high school sports? The San Diego Union Tribune's free UT Preps app is the go-to source for your favorite high school sports teams. Get schedules, scores, standings, news, and more right on your phone. Follow your favorite high school team by sport. Share photos and videos right from the game. See rosters and player profiles complete with game-by-game -game statistics and receive push notifications for game updates. Don't miss any of the action at Oceanside, Chula Vista, Torrey Pines, and many more San Diego schools. Download the free UT Preps app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Welcome into the San Diego Prep Insider Studio. Tommy Morris with Christian Pedersen. And Christian, we got our first basketball podcast. Yes! Finally! Yes. Basketball. I am a hoop, hoopla fanatic. You have hoop hoopla. Yeah, I have hoop hoopla. At all times. It, it might be the first person ever diagnosed with that disease, but I have it. Sounds bad. And Sounds rough. Yeah, well, you know, I live with it. So those of you who watch the football podcast know we generally go through the top 10 of the county, then we predict some games. We're going to do the same thing for basketball. We're going to add a little twist, though, because we're going to start the season off with something brand new. Christian, can you give us your starting five in San Diego? Oh, yes, I can. Um, and it, it, it's hard. Full disclaimer to all of you who I don't name, it's not because I'm not giving you the love. It's just because I want to motivate you a little bit to play. You know, give, give me some more highlights to cover this season. But right. yeah. Let's get it started with, in no particular starting order, for my five that I'm running out there on the court, uh, number one's going to be Jackson Strong from Torrey Pines. Uh, the strong move to the hoop. The kid can score from three. Uh, he outscored Monta Vista single-handedly in his first half in a game earlier this season. The um, whole, in, in one half, he outscored it, the it, team. It, the, at at the halftime, it was Jackson Strong 22, Monta Vista 20. Um, wow. Yes. In, in route to, I think he had nine threes that day. It, it, impressive. Impressive. So Jackson Strong's there. Um, I'm going to move James Audie from Mira Mesa. He might be the most dominant, impressive inside man that I've seen so far this season. A lot of love for him. Um, TJ Leaf obviously is probably the most talented player in the county, so he's maybe anchoring the, the starting five that I'm running out there. And congratulations, TJ, for being a uh, nominee for McDonald's All-American. Yes, absolutely. Um, Good job, man. Much love putting San Diego on the map there, TJ. Um, Tim Harrison from Francis Parker. He's got talent inside and outside. I love the big men who can shoot. I love anybody that can shoot, but the, the big men especially always make it entertaining. And then uh, I'm going to round it out with Ryan Langborg from La Jolla Country Day. Uh, kid is probably the most exciting player on the floor every time he steps out there. Uh, he's young, but he, he can rack up in a given game a couple of blocks, a couple of three points, a couple of assists. Maybe not double digits of anything yet, but uh, you need that kind of grease man, that well-rounded fifth player. So that, those are my starting five that are, I'm running out there. So right is there, if we have a starting five, do we have some bench guys that we might be able to throw in there and mix it in? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Um, Tom Rutherford from Grossmont, absolutely coming off the bench right away. Uh, Robbie Robinson from Kearney is coming off the bench. Um, I'm going to say Shai Stevenson from Monta Vista might be the, 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 the hidden gem in all of San Diego County because he's not getting a lot of love with a team that's they're not winning a bunch this season but he's got really sweet moves for for his size so those are my guys coming off the bench but uh you know keep working and i'll, I'll add you to my starting five you know you could crack the uh could crack it just in time for playoffs <laughs> all right so those are our starting five players now we're gonna go with our top 10 teams i've got the responsibility of that this week i'm gonna start with number 10 i'm gonna start with morris the tigers not a lot of people looking at them yet because they, they lost one of their players who as a Transfer Cathedral, but still got some great players. Justin Davis going to Howe State Bakersfield next year. Really the leader of the Tigers. Number nine, Cathedral. Always strong. They put a lot of out-of-county teams, so it's kind of hard to judge where they are right now. But you got to respect a team, though, that wants to dial up the intensity early on in the right. season and not cherry-pick some wins. Right. So, again, kind of a mystery right now, but they're there at nine. Number eight is Lincoln. Very strong. I know you've seen them play. And I've in. seen a couple of great finishes from them. They, they've, got, they've got talent. In the Hornets, that's their tough place to play. Poway, number seven. Another North County School, Torrey Pines, number six. Anything down on those? Obviously, we already talked about Jackson Strong. Jackson Strong. I mean, it, you can go down the whole list of people. Um, also, shout out to the bench mob for Torrey Pines. Uh, they might have the most entertaining bench can they, in can the they entire Monmouth's bench. Oh, Ad, they called Monmouth's bench out one of the games that I was at. Yeah, uh, they have their own Instagram account. They're, they're, they're dedicated. They're committed to the craft. 
you know you've got a deep team when your bench players have so much free time on their hands. They're coming up with choreography. That, that they're making their own Instagram account. Uh, but yeah, uh, Poway, I think, will be moving up from that seven by the end of the season. I think Poway's got real quietly, you know, nice head of steam coming off the early wins in the season, and they'll 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 make a run deep in it. Um, at number five, I've got La Jolla Country Day, the Tories, young team. It'll be interesting to see how they go. They're don't want to jinx them. I haven't lost yet, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, once they get into that coastal league play, it's gonna get tough. Do you have to put a little disclaimer every time you talk about Country Day, or uh, don't know what you're talking no? about? Okay, no, uh, no, 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 I I, I will say Country Day not only this season, but especially look for next season for them to take over the uh, the mantle of responsibility for representing San Diego County. Wow. Um, yeah, I absolutely believe that they are on a they are on a rocket ship. Well, unfortunately, the rocket ship this year is going to be stuck with some other teams that are in my top four. Army, Navy, another team they're going to run into, Aziz Sek, Richard Polanco, a junior, in my opinion, maybe one of the best juniors in the county. And he told me, I, I, I talked to him after the Torrey Pines tournament, I couldn't believe this. First basketball game ever played indoors because he's from the Dominican Republic. Now, it's coming from him. He scored 95 points in the first game he ever played when he was in the Dominican Republic. I could believe that. It's a lot of points. I mean, That's, Richard, I believe you. It's more points than I've ever scored in my career. <laughs> um, but, wow, amazing story there with that kid. Uh, number three is Al Camino. Wildcats up there in, the, in Oceanside in two and one. Not a shocker. I got Saints at number two and Foothills Christian, number one. Absolutely. Uh, the great thing about your, your top five there is that we're going to see them all clash at one point or another this season. It's not going to be a, a dancing around of, you know, they'll, they'll eventually meet in the playoffs. But if they're going to go head-to-head at least a couple of games – so it'll be really fun to watch a couple of big powerhouses square right. off multiple times. Which, that's why you've got to love basketball because if you lose the first one, you get a chance to get them in the second one. It's not like football. Really not yet. It's not this one and done. A whistle blows. A, a, you know, Ed Hockley gets out there and ruins your season. No, you, you got a chance to really play with some passion. And, and, and I completely agree with your top ten. And I cannot wait to see them all duke it out this season in league. Oh, it's going to be fun. So, moving on to that, we got a prediction. So, we obviously have to keep this segment. This is probably my favorite thing. But with basketball, it's a little bit different than football because we got different games, different days. So, we're going to predict some games from Friday and some from Saturday. Starting with Friday, we've got Morris traveling to Mira Mesa. Christian, who do you have? Mira Mesa. I, I, I know that you have Morris in their top 10, but James Audi. I can't say it enough. Uh, if you have not gone out to see him, the kid humble quiet kid but he's got a high-end motor and just works hard all game long so i I think he is too big of a force for morris to overcome right and so i looked at this game a little bit looked at the past history from last year they played three times last year morris won two of them by 19 and 12 but then mira mesa with a huge upset as we would call it last year with a triple overtime game a guy who was a huge part of that james audi another guy uh, devin sanders who's a good football player as well from mira mesa was a huge part of that game but Again, it's a different Morris team this year without the guy in the middle, but I think Justin Davis is enough. I think Morris takes this one. By Are we doing scores on this? A little squeaker. Just a little squeaker. Just, just a little squeaker. Just a little squeaker. Okay. I, I, it'll, it'll be close. I, maybe five points. It'll, it'll, it'll be a close game. All right. All right. I, uh, I, I can completely agree with that. That Anything to me within five is a kind of, it could go either Possibly. way. So I'll say seven. I'll say just, on the, just outside of a squeaker. All right. So our next game we're going to predict from Friday Maybe another disclaimer game for you, I guess. La Jolla traveling to Mission Bay. Go Vikings. <laughs> um, I, oh, man, that is going to be a close one, but I say Mission Bay is going to win it. Um, they just have a little bit more physicality in the paint than La Jolla does. And, and that, to me, really is the overall deciding factor in basketball. Is If, if you can prevent the other team from from getting anything going down low you're probably gonna win so i i say mission bay's got this one by by the five to seven the five, the five, yeah, seven the five okay. yeah well well good thing about this game is we'll see it multiple times this year because in the absolutely so yeah. like you were saying earlier this is kind of cool um kind of similar teams the way they're set up you got justin moore's head to tulane for mission Bay, as you talked about him earlier and then to counter him read fairly for La Jolla. Reed so, is a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, so those are two good guys. And you talk about inside. Armstrong, Armstrong, I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name because I don't want to offend you. I'm sorry. But Armstrong down low for, for Mission Bay. And then Alex, Alex from La Jolla. Don't, don't grab me on this one. Can, what? Can, you, can you pronounce his last okay. name? No, no. no. And, and if so, you guys ever yeah. want to correct us, please, we welcome you 
Tweet us the phonetic spellings of your names so we can get them right. Or like an angry long. vine. Oh, yes, yeah, please. Yeah, you can find us angrily with the correct spelling. That way we'll know. We'll hear it. We'll, we'll or come it. find us at a game and just yell at us. Yeah. We always look forward to your criticism. <laughs> <laughs> so I, in this game, again, I think it's going to be a close one too, but I'm going to take Mission Bay at home in this one. I so. believe, yeah. That, that'll probably be a home and home. That'll yeah. probably be a, the friendly confines to d- determine the W there. Uh, moving on, another game from Friday. It'll be Saints going to Lincoln. I'm gonna go with Lincoln Ooh. by a by by probably about ten. I'm gonna get him in that double wow. digit. I'm gonna say Lincoln by ten. I think that Saints maybe has a, a, a wee bit of hype going behind them that that they won't fully back up this year. So yeah, so Saints Saints did take a loss in the, the Holy Class tournament to Foothills Christian, which is why they're number two, not number one, obviously. Uh, but I, I think they do have, and I'm gonna say this. I, I know there's other good players in the county. I think they have the best point guard in the county, being Eric Monroe. And when I talk about point guard, I mean true point guard. I mean distributes the ball well, knock down shots. Maybe he's not going to you know slam down a crazy dunk, but he you don't is need the that best. as a point guard. No, yeah. you don't need that. He's the best pure point guard in San Diego, I think, right now. Uh, Tasha and Cherry, one of the best underclass big men. Again, he's an underclassman, so it's going to you know he'll, he'll get there eventually. Martin Tomby, another first teamer from last year. I think I think Saints have got a lot going on for him. So I got the Saintsmen in this one. So now we're going to move on to Saturday. We got a couple games from from the weekend. Modern Day at Parker. Francis Parker. Uh, I think that Modern Day is talented, but I don't think they are a, a, a team that can keep up with the three-point shooting of Francis Parker. Oh, man, we got, a lot of, we got a lot of disagreements here today. I like that. I like it. I like it'll, it'll be good for the season series. So Modern Day's got some super sophomores on that squad. they got Trey Anderson and Miles Norris. Great players. Again, only problem is they're a little bit younger. Uh, Miles Moore is a great player, yeah. but when, when you look at to me, Francis Parker has both the Bradys, you know, the Brady Bunch, killing it from three. Tim Harrison, as I said, can get it done inside and outside. Watching Francis Parker, I think the, the epitome was when they absolutely torched Mission Hills. And they had, I want to say, like 19 threes as a team by the end of the game. To me, that's something that you just you, you can't compete with, a team that is that dangerous from beyond the arc. Right, so... It, I I'm agree with you on that, but I still, still, still. We go with the young guns. I'm gonna go with modern. Please day. do, please do. And this so, this wouldn't be entertaining if we agreed on everything. No, I agree. This is better this way. Everyone's happy because then somebody will look stupid and someone will look great, and everyone likes when people look stupid. And that's usually that's, me looking stupid. So you so know, we'll see how it goes. And our final game, I know it's kind of an out of county game, but we had to add it because I mean, we're San Diego. We represent San Diego, San Diego teams. exactly. Fort Hills Christian going to Chino Hills again. Chino Hills in Los Angeles, but this is a team that some people think might be one of the best in the country. Fort Hills Christian trying to knock them off. Can they do it? Mm, this is one of those games that, as, as I said earlier, would be like a home and home thing. I, I just it'll be a huge litmus test to see Fort Hills Christian go there and beat Chino Hills. I am going to say no, just out of the travel, mm-hmm. they won't get it done, but. The fact that we're even talking about a San Diego team being able to travel to a top five program in the country and really seriously compete, I think that if they walk away losing by single digits, it still counts as a, as a W. Yeah, I mean, it, this is a really difficult game. Every single team in the country would struggle with uh, Gene Hills. I've got Gene Hills as well. Their roster looks like a typo almost because every single kid has the same last name. There's Lonzo Ball who's going to go to UCLA next year and be a teammate of TJ Leaf who's playing for discretion. Then his little brother, um, LiAngelo, is also going to go to UCLA. He's a junior right now. Then they have a third brother, LaMelo, who's just a freshman, but some say he might be the best of them. And then they have a cousin, Andre. Four guys, same last name, same team. Tough to play against. I mean, that's why it's I say ball don't lie. Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie. I mean, that just... That's just a little ridiculous that you have that much of a family affair going on, but you know, nothing you do about why it. Why mess with what works? No, it sounds like UCLA is getting that pipeline. So again, another disclaimer for you, I guess. The, the we don't need thing. to get into college associations. This is a prep show. We don't have any clash between no. our, our our high school choices. So uh, we'll keep it there. Um, that'll be for later in our careers. Exactly. So do you have anything to add uh, before we get out of here? I just keep playing hard. Uh, I, I think that there's a lot of teams around San Diego County that we were not able to get to today because we don't want to bore you guys and blabber <laughs> on for two or three hours. Right. But 
you know, keep fighting. We're going to give love to as many teams as we can, as many players as we can. And, uh, you know, we, we really want to see you guys throwing down some, uh, some impressive numbers. Yeah, and I, I'll second that as well. Again, new podcast with the basketball season going. There's a lot more basketball teams than our football teams. So bear with us. We're going to do as best as we can to get to everyone. But, there, again, there's more teams uh, playing basketball in San Diego, Canada, our football. It'll be fun, though. Yeah. Send us your vines. Send us your Instagrams. Let us know what's good. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll come check it out. Yeah, even if, even if you hate us. Send, send us hate ones. Well, Please. <laughs> we'll see you next week.